The America's Cup has been my life and it's an obsession. It's, um, it's something that once you've been involved with a great group of people, especially a successful team, it really does become an obsession. And once you get the taste of it, you want to taste it again. Since I was, I'm going to say around five years old, I was definitely dreaming about it then. And then it wasn't really until I became uh, you know, 18 years old that I got the chance to skip on my first team. And from then on, I really was chasing the cup. Well, the cool thing about the America's Cup is it's on the cutting edge of technology. I was involved when the, it was in your standard monohull yacht to right now where it's in carbon fibre, 50 foot foiling catamarans, you know, doing speeds up to 60 mile an hour. The guy's a real athlete. Come on! This is real risk. I think the real message that comes along through this book is that if you work hard enough, and you really want something, you can go out there and get it. It's a whole lot of stuff that the everyday person can relate to and learn from and probably think back themselves to when they were growing up and no matter how tough the defeat was or how big a mistake you make in life, whether it was on the sporting field or you know, just growing up as a teenager, it's not over. Since this last America's Cup and it being a loss, man, it's, it's difficult to sleep properly. You know, because you constantly go back and you relive all those key defining moments during the campaign, especially the mistakes during the actual match. And the reason you do that is because you want to get better and you want to learn from it and you want to come back stronger.